To you, Brett, cooler and calmer. That's the story overall, but the fire danger does remain elevated, and unfortunately, the cold front responsible for our cooler day today has not brought any moisture our way. Still a bit breezy out there. Yesterday, we had to describe the weather as windy. Today, we'll call it breezy. Sun will go down at 618. Temperatures are currently in the 40s. We'll start by talking about the temperatures because it was a very cold day or cold morning, cold start to the day. 31 at the airport early on. It's the first time we've been below freezing officially in Denver since the 9th of September. That snowstorm that came in right after uh, Labor Day last month, that was the last time we were as cold as we were this morning. Tonight will be even colder. Now, after starting out near freezing, we've climbed into the 40s for most areas. Boulder's at 46, Greeley's at 48. It's 47 right now in Fort Collins, and most of us will top out in the 50s. So, much, much cooler compared to where we have been. So the wind is the strongest up in the mountains. We could still have a few wind gusts up to around 40 miles per hour at times. Leadville, for example, right now is at 31 miles per hour. Most of the smoke that we're noticing here in the metro area this afternoon is originating from that new fire that's in Grand County. It's north of Hot Sulphur Springs, west of Granby, and uh, to the uh, east of the Kremlin area. And that smoke's making its way right on over toward Boulder and especially into the northern suburbs. And so we'll definitely have some smoke around throughout the afternoon hours. The Department of Public Health and Environment has expanded the air quality alert. Yesterday, this was just in effect for Larimer County. Now it includes all of us around Denver, Boulder, and Fort Collins, up into Grand County as well with that new fire there. Extends out through Adams and Arapahoe counties up into Weld County as well. So the red flag warning for today is for the central and southern mountains. It goes from around Leadville and Fair Play southward through Buena Vista, Salida, down into Sawatch County and into the San Luis Valley. The Four Corners region, including Durango and Cortez, also included. And it's those parts of the state that will generally be the warmest today. 71 in Alamosa, 73 for Durango and Cortez. North of there, it's much cooler. 40s for most mountain towns here this afternoon. 50s here at lower elevations east of the Continental Divide. It's actually staying below normal for a change. Tonight, it's going to be cold again. Most of us drop below freezing. Some of us could experience a hard freeze tonight, which we define is 28 degrees or below. So just something to keep in mind, especially if you haven't blown out your sprinkler system yet. Tomorrow afternoon, we climb back into the 60s, so we start warming back up. We're going to call it partly sunny here through the rest of today. Just enough moisture for some cloud cover, but not enough moisture for any precipitation behind the cold front that passed yesterday. Next front up is going to move in on Sunday, but it looks like this front's going to stay far enough north that it's not going to have much of an influence on our weather in Colorado. We're going to keep it dry and mild with a warming trend here starting tomorrow afternoon. Again, really cold tomorrow morning, but warmer tomorrow afternoon, 67, 75 Saturday. We stay in the upper 60s on Sunday, and we remain there for Monday. And unfortunately, no moisture in sight, at least not for Denver in the Front Range. Rick?